Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, here in beautiful Honolulu at PTC 2018 with my new friend, Jim Connaughton. He's the CEO of Nautilus Data Technologies. Jim, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. And you guys are doing some innovative things. I'm really excited, essentially, water and cooling, often data center uh, pain points, but for Nautilus Data Technologies, you're turning them into a solution. Can you tell us more? That's right, Jamie. What we did is, uh, starting about four or five years ago, we got a team together to reimagine how to do data centers. Uh, data centers are big energy hogs, uh, they're big consumers of water, uh, and they're big users of chemicals. Uh, and as they get bigger and bigger, the environmental footprint of that gets greater and greater. And we set about to answer the question, how can you do that a lot better? And the answer is to cool at industrial scale using naturally cold water. And so we apply the techniques that are used in other sectors like power plants, uh, ships, uh, petrochemical facilities. It's called once through cooling and we apply that methodology and we've re-engineered it to work in the data center environment. Oh, I love that. So tell me, what does that mean to the environment? Are you, are you truly uh, lower greenhouse gas emissions? Well, so we are great for the entire environmental footprint. Uh, so first, um, data centers are energy hogs. Um, our system is 85% more efficient in its cooling. Uh, data centers consume massive amounts of water, typically public drinking water. Uh, we eliminate the consumption of water because we do something called once through cooling. The water comes in and comes out the way it came in. So we don't have to evaporate it or get rid of it in any way. And as a result, we don't have to treat the water, so we don't have to use any of the conventional chemicals that are used, uh, not just in treating the water, but also in refrigerating uh, the, the chilled water, which is, uses potent greenhouse gas uh, refrigerants. Uh, we get rid of all of that. And I've noticed on your website that in just a couple of years, you're sort of new to the marketplace, you guys have been really racking up the accolades. Can you tell us a little bit more? Well, we worked to prove our technology would work with a prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, and as a result of that prototype, we submitted that to some of the big award um, uh, uh, parties. And we were very pleased in 2016 to win the Startup of the Year Award in, uh, in Silicon Valley. Uh, that's an award that typically has gone to software companies like Uber and Dropbox and LendingTree. And uh, this is the first time it went to an infrastructure company. Nice. Dial forward a year later um, at Data Cloud Europe, which is the big um, uh, collection of folks from the entire sector in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, we won the Breakthrough uh, Cutting Edge Technology Award. Same thing. Uh, we were pleased to be honored by our peers for having rethought you know, the future sustainability of this infrastructure that's so vital to the success of the sector. Looking at uh, your crystal ball, can you tell us what are your predictions for 2018? Sure. In 2018, we're going to see the emergence of IoT, artificial intelligence, and machine learning become real. We've been talking about it for a long time, but the software systems, the compute systems, the censoring systems are all going to come together, and this data tsunami, we're, we're, we're going to finally see it coming. We've just been at the tip of it right now. With that is going to be the need for this massive build out uh, in the entire telecommunication system and especially the build out of data center infrastructure. The result of that is you need much lower cost, much better environmental performing infrastructure if we're going to support all of that going into the future. Uh, and then third, um, we're seeing the emergence of high performance computing, but there's always been a chicken and egg for that, which is in the absence of an effective cooling system, you can't put it into the commercial marketplace. It's a sort of specialty item. Cooling systems like ours will enable high performance computing to be available to everybody, commercially and individual consumers, uh, because we can affordably deliver high performance cooling to handle these much, much hotter computer systems. Uh, and so, put those three together, we can begin to see smart city, smart transportation, uh, the smart grid, uh, we can finally realize those visions. I'll tell you, there's been a lot of chatter about points one and two, but point three, absolutely innovative, and clearly the next step, I can understand that that uh, uh, that line of thinking. So absolutely, Nautilus, one to watch. Where can our viewers who are interested to learn more, where can they uh, check out? Well, check us out at www.nautilusdt.com. Uh, description of what we're up to is there, uh, and we look happy, we're happy to talk to anybody about what we're doing. Uh, the beauty of what we do is it comes at a lower cost to deliver this massive environmental gain, and that's a winning combination. It certainly is. Jim, thank you for joining us, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV.